Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome so much back to my another live streaming. Alright, it's the 17th of January and it's Happy Friday. Alright, I hope you're having a great great day today. So, alright, let's get started. Are you ready to study about Forex and also Ichimoku Kinko Hyo today too? Alright, if you're ready, please press a good button <laughs> to make sure you're joining this live streaming, alright? So, alright, I see a couple people here already making some comments here. Hi, Arkady, Hicham, Raymond, thanks for joining as well. Alright. Hi, uh, Gay Marco, oh, Gian Marco, sorry, <laughs> thank you for joining as well. Alright, Godley, Matewes, Billy, welcome back, welcome back, everyone. All right. So, yeah, and thank you for your participation as always to my live streaming. It's so encouraging to me, in fact, uh, so that it keeps me going. And also, thank you for your questions to the question form. I'm getting about uh, like five or six questions per day. And I already have about 30, more than 30 questions uh, up until now for about a week. So. Thank you for your. Uh, thank you for sending me those questions, and I will make sure to cover uh, those questions. And uh, yeah, the link is down be below in the description. So if you're new to here, I have a question form like this, and it says a uh, question form for Ichimoku Kinko Hyo for January 2020. So whatever questions you have about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, you can just send me your any any questions about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, um, so that I will be uh, fully covering those questions uh, on live. I'll be doing it tomorrow. So yeah, please stay tuned for that. And this, I think this is the best way to communicate both ways and also it becomes win-win relationship. Because not only you send me the question and you learn, but also I'm learning also, right? I, I get different perspectives about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo too. And as I prepare for the answers, um, I read, uh, read back the books and also I study about myself too, so that I can keep improving, improving my uh, trading skills well. And also you get to learn. So it's both ways win-win relationship in this case. So yeah, just uh, feel free to uh, you know, uh, send me your questions uh, through this form um, instead of uh, just putting your questions on the comment box. Uh, I might miss out something or I can just reply uh, to your question on the comment box. But if I want my verbal uh, answer, uh, I recommend you to put that questions in this form, through this form, so that I will make sure to read through and reply on every question you, you send. Okay, so that's the idea of this question form. And also, uh, before just jump into the market, maybe some people are late, right? And some people are uh, on, on my on on my on the way to accessing my live streaming. So uh, another announcement, a little bit. I actually have I have a second channel like this. This is purely my private channel, and here um, I talk about some updates of uh, ebook and also how I actually think and. Um, study and also how I live in Japan, Tokyo. So today I uploaded a new video. If I refresh it here, uh, today I uploaded a new video, and it's about um, I went to the shopping and also I went to the bookstore, and also I gave a little bit of uh, update on the ebook that's coming. So yeah, you can just feel free to um, click on this one. It was uploaded one hour ago. And yeah, here I talk about some uh, updates and also my personal life in Tokyo, Japan. So it's not really a constant because uh, this is not really the serious channel. This is just my, um, you know, um, uh, personal experiences and thoughts. So just earlier I uploaded a video so you can just go there and click and watch this video after the live streaming. Okay, so, all right, so let's get started here now. All right, all right. 
All right, so we've, we've got more people coming in here today. All right, Blatz, Kendo777. Hello, thank you. Thank you for joining. Christoph and JPK, welcome back. Martin, Greed, welcome back as well. And Wasan, thank you for joining. Trendmaster, thank you for joining. Scarlet, very nice to see you. All right, Crypto, Chakti, Sadiq, and Miles, Aditya. All right, all right. Thank you for joining, everyone. All right, so let's get started now i will be introducing another pair today uh, because pretty much all the pairs in bigger time frames are uh, consolidating right now so it might be a little bit boring so i decided to go over another pairs to see how the market is different um, and if i have a chance i might take trades so uh, today i will be covering this one chf jpy because it's on a beautiful trend right now <clears throat> All right, I like the form of videos on second channel. You don't overextend it like some vloggers. <laughs> you keep it straight, give nice updates, and of course, show us a bit of Japan in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the idea, right? That's the idea. Um, I can just go easy, but uh, I, I want to be informative at the same time. Uh, previously on my second channel, I was just uploading how I keep studying at the cafe for one hour or above like one hour but maybe it might not so interesting to some for someone someone else um, sometimes for myself i watch the youtube and i just play somebody's studying a video so that i feel like i'm studying with him <laughs> and that was the idea why i uploaded those like you know just studying videos without talking for about one hour or so and by you know i just decided to be informative instead and that's why i decided to talk <laughs> on the second channel too and give a little bit of updates about um, what i'm doing what kind of read books i read how where i go right what kind of lifestyle i have things like that so that you know you know about myself more so all right right can you send MT4 template, please? Oh, this is just the Ichimoku template. You can find the insert. Um, sorry, it's a, it's under charts and um, yeah, indicator. Where where was it? <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's it's insert under insert indicators, and you just click go to trend and Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, and you have it. So it's preset already. It's a default setting on Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. All right, all right, all right. I'm always weak to concentra uh, concentrate with reading. I'm trying to fix this problem for a long time. I better with listen. Okay, okay. Yeah, some people are audio type and some people are visual type. So it depending on your preference. And yeah, myself, uh, I'm more to a visual type than audio. So that's why I like to read st stuff and I like to see the pictures. So on my PDF or how I explain things is pretty much visual because I'm a visual type of person. But sometimes people prefer to uh, listen and the voice is more preferred. And in that case, you better go for audio book, for example. Uh, j instead of buying the book, maybe you prefer to uh, go to audiobook and keep listening uh, what's on the book. And that might be uh, the way to absorb the information as much as possible. So yeah, it depending on the preference and there are preferences among uh, everyone. So yeah, I am the visual type of person. So whenever I try to explain, I see visually. Right, so that's why I like Kumo, and that's why I like the fish uh, example that I showed it earlier. Uh, just eat the body part, right? I like those kind of um, uh, metaphor, right? So that I can see it visually. But yeah, yeah, so there are preferences. And when it comes to reading books, I prefer to uh, read the books but i prefer the charts in it and also i prefer some diagrams in it the colorful diagrams would be better for me instead of um, you know just reading a book with all plain uh, writings on it 
I might lose concentration easily when I just reading through those、uh, words only. So I prefer to buy books with the diagrams and the charts when it's forex related, or any other、uh, graphs, data, right, things like that, so that I can absorb better. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Hi, Anthony. Thanks for joining. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Hi, Jeroen. You're back in town. Great, great. Welcome, welcome to my life. Okay, Chuck D, you're in the car again. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. Thank you for joining from the car. I, I appreciate your support as always. All right. Ah, Ryota san, konnichiwa. <laughs> Thank you for joining my life. All right, so let's get started here. So, this is、uh, CHFJPY. So, does anybody trading this one? The CHFJPY?、Um, I used to be trading this pair before, but right now I'm not really trading because、uh, I'm more focused on the major ones. Because usually the spreads are relatively smarter, of course, and also you can capture the trend as much as possible. And that's why I don't really, I was not really into this pair, but right,、um, as, as I you know, keep、um, searching another pair to take trades, I just happened to see this chart. And actually, I was, this is weekly, but I was looking at the daily chart because、uh, there's a strong bullish momentum right now. All right, there you go. As you can see it here, right? It's so beautiful, right?、Uh, it's beautifully moving up, up trend. So, in this case, you better look for buy, right? You only place buy, right? You never think about selling it whatsoever, okay? All right, so does anybody can tell me the, the reasons why you should buy and why you should not sell in this case? Based on Ichimoku theories or You know, candlestick patterns, lines, right?、Um, any, any backups、uh, to buy on this market? And yeah, please participate on my live streaming. If you move your fingers and type your, type your answers to this, that really helps to actually absorb the information just by, you know, just rather to listen to my、uh, words and voices. So, Yeah, this is definitely the uptrend, and what would be the reasons for that? All right, let me just wait for here for a couple of seconds here because there's a delay here, right? There's a delay, a little bit like maybe 30 seconds or 20 or 30 seconds of delay here. So, yeah, I would just make sure to wait enough so that I can see your. Answers everyone. It's like a trend, right? When you try to capture a trend, you have to wait. So it, it's just the same. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, Kumo, right? Kumo's up. Kijun Sen is starting to up. Right, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen cross has been happening. Right, Kumo uptrend. Everything is up. Okay, everything is up. That's an that's,、uh, that's, uh, interesting comment there. there. <laughs> Everything's up. Exactly.、Um, all right, all right.、Uh, space between candles and Kumo. Oh, Chokti, you're not driving, right? <laughs> Make sure that you're not driving. Are you in the passenger seat? <laughs> all right, Aditya price is far away from Kumo, right? I don't trade any CHF related pairs. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. But、uh, all, the, all, the, you know, uh, all the currencies are basically the chart is universal. The Ichimoku is universal. So you can apply to any currencies. So if you're, not, if you're not trading this pair, then think that this is like a euro, pound, or like euro dollar. And、uh, participate in this、uh, live stream, right? So, all right, cross, yep, yep, cross.、Um, all right, Sanyaku Koten, right, right, okay, okay. It's been Sanyaku Koten in the past, right, already. It's been booming up since then. 
strong bullish trend, Kumo Tenkan Kijun going up, right, right. Distance between candle and Kumo, exactly, exactly. The distance is also important, right? The distance between the candles and the Kumo is pretty wide here, so that's why this is a strong uptrend right now. Right, we eat the fish, exactly, exactly. This is still the body part, right? This is still the body part. It, it hasn't reached to the head yet, as far as I look at the chart now, so that's why you can be positive on buy in this moment. Huh? Right distance, candle, kumo, angle of the kumo, exactly, exactly. Golden cross, kumo, senko, right, kumo is not flat. Yep, kumo is not flat yet, right, it's moving up, exactly. Chiko is free and above the recent high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's way above, right? It's way above the candles. Okay, Kumo is up and Senko Span B is pointing upwards. Right, right. Kumo start trending up higher. Candlesticks are far from the Kumo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, highs are far from the Kumo. Right, right. But Kumo is getting uh, right slimmer, right? It's getting thinner now. The market is overheated. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, when you look at the thickness of the Kumo, in the past, a little bit while ago, it was pretty thin here, but it's becoming thicker now, right? It's becoming thicker. So that means uh, this is still the continuous bullish momentum. It's relatively thin compared to like here or here in the past, but it's got the distance, right? It's got the decent distance here within the Kumo. So yeah, I would say this is still uptrend steady. All right. Okay, this is the body. Eat, eat, eat. Exactly, exactly. So you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So in Japan, we say don't eat the head and tail of the fish, but just eat the body part. <laughs> right, so think this says this is like a fish, right? And this was the this was the tail, and right now it's in the body part now, right? So the head will come anytime soon, and it will come, right? Be when you think that this is a fish, right? Uh, it's moving up now, and but still it's the body part, and we don't still have the confirmations that this is the head yet. So that's why we can still be optimistic on buying it. That's the idea. All right, so that's why people are saying this is a body part. If we're new, if you're new. <laughs> All right, passenger seat, of course, I don't have my third eye. <laughs> okay, yet, yet. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had the third eye too. <laughs> in the back, in the back. Third eye in the back would be awesome. <laughs> are you trading live? Yes, I do, I do. Hi, Kei-san. Hi, Hamiti-san. Thanks for joining. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. I wouldn't personally buy here because the eight previous candles were all bullish. I would be worried about a possible sudden retracement. Right, right, exactly. So that's one thing. So you read my mind, basically, Anthony. Uh, that's something that I was going to talk next, is that when you see the consecutive bullish candles, like this Let's say this one, uh, current candlestick in this daily chart ends up with the bull candle, and that means there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles, uh, seven bullish candles in the past, and this is becoming the eighth bullish candle, and that means the market is overheated, right? This is overheated market, and yeah, it should retrace anytime soon. I think, I think. It might keep extending towards upside and it's okay, but in this case, we have to watch out for the retracement because the market has been moving up quite strongly recently. But this is beautifully bullish momentum, so you can just basically think about buying it in this momentum. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Anthony. Hi, Eddie, thank you for joining. All right. How can we know when the head confirm? Yeah, um, if you look at the pa past chart, it's obvious. It's obvious. So yeah, 
and I think we might see the head, tail and head and body on different time frames on this currency pair. So let's see if we see any head uh, is appearing in different time frames. Okay, if the price comes close to Kumo, that means we are near to the head, correct? Yeah, that, that will be one of the confirmations. Or you can look at the Senko span B when it's moving horizontal, that means it might be a head of the fish. It's actually forming the head of the fish when you see the Senko span B to be flat and Kumo gets thinner. Yeah, that's a confirmation, exactly. Hi, Hiep. Thank you for joining. And I just saw your comment on my another live, another uh, YouTube video. So thank you for a comment on my video as well. Okay, okay. So in daily chart, this is bullish. This is bullish. So let me just go over one by one. So remember, we look at these four points when you look at the Kumo, right? The angle. And also Senko span B's direction and also the thickness of it. And also the gap between the highs and also the up Kumo, right? And right now, if you look at it one by one, the angle first of all is up, right? It's moving up. And to add to that, this is pretty long, right? The Kumo is long. Because when it's short like this, it doesn't really confirm the bull, uh, bear, bearishness in this case. But right now the Kumo is steady and it's long. It's longer than the previous ones. So that's why this is the stable bullish market. So you have to focus on the length of the Kumo itself. So let me put the length here, right, for the confirmation. Um, yeah, the angle and also the length, right? All right, so the angle and the length of the Kumo is uh, pretty steep here, right? It's spiking up and also the length is pretty long in this case. Right, so Kumo is definitely moving up and also itself is long, right? And also the Senko Span B right now just becoming flat, just became flat right now, but it has been moving up. So Right now we see it's horizontal and that means the market is retracing, retracing right now. But overall it's uptrend, so uh, this might be just a uh, you know, temporary consolidation here. So Senko Span technically right now it's horizontal. And we're gonna see that in lower time frames. All right. All right. Hi, Zero Sam. Hi, Kay. I made it live, but late. Sorry, everyone. Do not get mad. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Everybody's mad. Yeah, and everybody never forgive you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Just kidding. Welcome back. Welcome back, as always. Okay, so yeah, the thickness of the Kumo right now, it's uh, relatively thin here. Relatively thin. So that means this also confirms the market is a uh, pretty strong uptrend. Thickness is um, relatively thin here. All right. And the gap between the highs, right? The gap between these highs and especially the current high, right? Right here is pretty far from the Kumo. So the gap is wide, basically. So this is the Kumo observation of this uh, CHFJPY. Oops, CHFJPY in daily chart. Okay, is it clear enough for everyone? I think it's pretty clear. You know, everything is visually explained here. So we don't talk about the, all the calculations and all the you know uh, numbers and the lines itself. When candlesticks getting smarter, it is uh, mostly the end of the trend. It is ready for pullback. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That means the market is losing the uh, momentum to the upside. So that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. 
uh, the candlesticks if you notice it this was the longest one and the candlestick itself it's getting smaller and smaller so that's this also confirms that bullishness is um, you know getting smarter now right the power of the bullishness is getting smarter but we never know we never know it might spike upwards again right we never know what we know here is that it's a bullish momentum that's for sure and that's why you can look for the buy chance all right and you can rely on this daily chart as a bigger time frame however if you look at like a weekly chart for example if you look at the weekly chart this is in a range right this is in a range on the weekly chart there's no re not really a trend on the market so you cannot rely on this weekly chart to take trades to actually capture uh, the trend direction and the strength because the Kumo is very short here, right? Very short and uh, it's moving up but very short compared to the past Kumos here. So we cannot rely on this one. So in this case, you better look at the daily chart to confirm that it's uptrend. And as long as the Kumo keeps extending towards the upside and as long as the Kumo itself remains thick, that means the bullishness is uh, continuous all right so yeah basically this is the ideal Kumo formation when you think about it and also to add to that uh, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both moving up right to the upside so the next pushback point might be the uh, Tenkan Sen here right it might be pushed backwards um, up to uh, at the Kijun Sen but as long as the price is above the Kijun Sen here or Tenkan Sen here uh, you can still be uh, positive for buying it in this market okay so with that being said let's go down to a uh, 4 hour chart here right 4 hour chart Okay, it's going to take some time to load it here. Looks like the connection is a little bit slow. Let me try out different server here. I, uh, I think this one is, yeah, this one's the fastest one. All right, so yeah, right now, yeah, look at the four hour chart, right? Look at it. It's beautiful, right? It's beautifully bullish. It's beautifully bullish here. So on this 4 hour chart too, you can still be positive on buying it, right? This is ideal. This is ideal. So uh, in daily chart, this is up Kumo, right? The trend is up steady and also in 4 hour chart, it's up too, right? We're looking at the CHFJPY, right? Because the angle itself is moving up. And also the Kumo is wide, right? It's getting wider and wider now. So it's becoming a steady bullish momentum. And Senko Span B right now is horizontal, but overall it's moving up. So you can still think about buying it in this case. All right, right now it looks like the market is consolidating, but we can look for the pushback point in lower time frames, which we are going to cover on this live streaming later, all right? So basically this is uptrend, right? This is uptrend, CHFJPY, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Hi, Sasan, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, actually we are covering this uh, CHFJPY today because I see a beautiful trend in daily and also this four hour chart. So, yeah, right now in this 4 hour chart too, it's pretty much bullish momentum. So you can still look for a buy chance by looking at the lower time frames. All right. So right now the market is consolidating and we're going to look this part in more detail in lower time frames. But just by looking at this 4 hour chart, it's moving up, right? It's moving up. It's uptrend. So that's why 
it's worth, right? It's worth to look down to the lower time frames for the possible uh, potential pushback to capture it. All right. If everything's up, should we buy now or wait for Tenkan Kijun pushback? Yeah, that's a question, right? That's a question. And that's why we have to go down to either smaller time frames for confirmation. So you will see it. You will see it. So by looking at the 4-hour chart, it's moving up. So yeah, right now it's been it's been in a place where the price is going to be supported by this Tenkan Sen or not, which we never know, which we never know. So it's just the fact that the price is touching on this um, Tenkan Sen here. So we'll see if this is, is if this is going to be the pushback or not by looking at the lower time frames. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to let's see the 30 minute chart. Okay, all right, so here is the 30 minute chart. You see it's how it's consolidating right, right now. So in this 30 minute chart, what do you see here? What what is your findings here? Just participate and type your answers here. So this is what we're looking for, looking at right now is the 30 minute chart. All right, and just focus on these four points, right? Uh, the angle and also length of the Kumo, Senkospa B's formation, the thickness of the Kumo and also the highs and lows. Well, in this case, it's horizontal, so it doesn't really mean. But yeah, just focus on this point, angle, length, Senkospan B and the thickness and also the highs to the Kumo. And what would you see here? What kind of information can you read from the Kumo itself? Okay. All right, yeah, it's horizontal thin, flat Kumo flat. Flat Senko B, mm -hmm. and thin, yep, flat thin Kumo horizontal candles into the Kumo, yep, exactly, exactly. Yep, price inside the Kumo, no space, horizontal, thin Kumo here, right, right, flat angle, flat Senko Span B, thin, exactly, exactly. Candles into the Kumo, yep, yep. Ranging on 30 minutes, thin flat Kumo with flat Senko Span B, price is on the equilibrium of the range, yep, exactly. Exactly. Flat Kumo thin. Right, right. So yeah, basically this is flat, right? The Kumo is flat and very thin. Very thin. It's not only flat, but it's also very thin. Even I expand the chart like this, it's very thin here. Right. Hi Fred, thank you for joining. All right, no trade in this time frame. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Right, Aditya san. No trade, right? No trade. We have to have the confirmation for the pushback, right? We're look when we're looking at the four hour chart, it was moving up and also the daily was moving up too. But when you look at the 30 minute time frame, this is horizontal and that means this is consolidating right now. The market is in the range completely. So for the for the price to be keep going up, right? There are a couple of conditions for the price to be keep going up. And when it's consolidating, basically the market is charging its energy for the next move, right? And that's what the consolidation means, right? Consolidation means that market is charging its energy for the next move, next up or down. And in this case, the Bollinger Bands has been squeezing. Even though you don't show the Bollinger Band, it's so obvious that the Bollinger, Bollinger Bands has been squeezing right now. It's been uh, very narrow because it's in a range and also the volatility is getting smaller and smaller now. In fact, you can actually draw a line like this. Uh, you can draw a, a triangle if you've noticed it, right? There's a triangle formation clearly here. So by following the 30 minute time frame, 
uh, well actually by following the 4 hour or 1 hour chart, it should be breaking upwards. If the trend may persist, it should be breaking upwards. And that's what something that you can expect. Right? Uh, in this case, there, there is more chance that the mar market will be breaking upwards than going down. Right? Even if it goes down, it might be momentary, right? Momentary, because um, it might stop, right? It might stop at uh, the lowest, the recent low here, or the price might stop on the lowest low here, maybe, maybe, if the price keeps going down from here. But anyways, overall market should be uptrend right now, so we basically look for a buy chance in this case. So by combining these lines and also the Kumo formation, you know that this is in a range by this triangle formation. So, and also the price is likely to break it upwards, right? Just depending on uh, the purely uh, supply and demand uh, here, it's moving up. It should be moving up. So for the price to actually, so you can expect uh, the price to be going up. And in this case, you can just place buy based on the lines, right? Like here or here, when it's being supported, when you find the confirmation for the support, you can place a buy accordingly and expect the market to be going up like this. Or you can wait for the Kumo to be expanding upwards again, and then you can place buy at any time at any time so it's your call right it's your call and uh, i prefer to take trade on these spots because in that case my stop loss is going to be very tight my stop loss is going to be here right oops uh, i want the line so my stop loss will be slightly below the recent low which is going to be if i place a buy here if it's going to be a buy uh, my stop loss, is, stop loss is only like 13 pips here, right? So the risk is only 13 pips and I find it's a good deal to buy because the risk is minimum, right? Less than 20 pips of stop loss is I think good deal. So that's why I want to buy on this, on this place. However, because this is in a range, the market can reverse to the downside easily. And in that case, I will just cut the loss immediately, right? With break even or maybe five or six pips of the uh, of the loss, and I will look for another buy chance accordingly. But as you, as I see the market as of now, uh, these are might be the uh, potential buy points. And if the price keeps going up, then if the kumo then uh, keeps expanding. Uh, thicker and thicker towards the upside, then I will look for another buy chance, right? I, I will add a pyramid, another position into the market so that I will, uh, you know, keep extending the profit that way. So in this case, these places are the buy, potential buy point. Um, yeah, along with this uh, um, Akumo to be horizontal thin and also I see a triangle here. All right, so yeah, let me check out some comments here. All right, Kumo flat and thin B flat candle interacting with Kumo. Yep, exactly. Angle horizontal, single span B flat, thickness thin gap into the Kumo. Mm -hmm. We should wait for the Kumo up again. Yep, exactly. That will be the start of the body part, right? This is just still the, uh, the tail. This is just the tail part or head part. Right, um, this is not the body, body part yet, but uh, depending on preference, you can just take buy based on these lines, or you can even draw a support resistance line like this. And when the price reaches to this price level, you can take buys. Uh, so it's your call basically, but know that this is still a tail part, and that means that price can go easily backwards. So that means the risk is relatively higher, but if you can 
place buy and if the price keeps extending towards upside then you can extend the profit as much as possible so basically you can eat the tail part and also the body part itself as a result right however the risk is going to be relatively higher so you have to control the lot sizing and also you have to make sure to place the stop loss that's a rule that's a rule all right kumo is flat but no twist yep exactly it's very thin but it's not really twisted yet right <clears throat> uh, bullish triangle but we still wait as tail needs to confirm first wait for the confirmation exactly exactly so yeah i was kind of jumping uh ahead of the story here to take buy at the tail because that's likely my style <laughs> i like to trade at this at these points so yeah but if you want to confirm the body part then just wait for the Kumo to be moving up solid and Senko Span B to be moving up too, right? Along with the Kijun Sen be moving up. Alright. You do not need Bollinger with Ichimoku. You have a similar indication. Exactly, exactly. So Bollinger Band is just a confirmation. And the deviation is pretty unique and it's useful. And that's why sometimes I use the Bollinger Bands. Um, but even if I don't show the Bollinger Band, I kind of know the momentum. So, yeah, yeah. It's just a supportive uh, indicator for me. When the Tenkan Kijun are together and after they got separated with a high mo movement, because Tenkan run in a direction without Kijun Sen. Yeah, yeah. So you have to follow the Kijun Sen's direction always, right? Tenkan Sen is uh, very. Uh, short and very really fast indicator it's only nine periods so uh, Tenkan Sen can be reliable when it's on the trend but uh, to capture the beginning of the trend um, Kijun Sen will be the better one because it's slower and also Senko Span B is even uh, you know slower so it, it gives you more clear confirmation for the trend to start okay it's like a bollinger band yeah exactly the kumo is like a bollinger band when you think about it yeah exactly you can see it on your chart between 7 and 15. oh you're talking about the time frame here yeah and now that the asian session ended right the asian session ended the other confirmation you can have might be the uh, Tokyo box breakout, right? So the Tokyo box is formed here, and this is a recent high. So when it breaks upwards, then that might be a start of a new trend to the upside. So the London session just started a couple of uh, you know minutes or hours ago, so you can expect the market to be breaking either up or down here. Or yeah, it was it's here, right? So you can create a box like this, but so this is an important point, right? This is an important point. So whenever you draw a box like this in Tokyo Box, um, in this case, right? In this case, you only expect the price to break in uppers, and even if it breaks it downwards, don't set it because the the bigger time frame shows it's uptrend. So in this case, the uh, Tokyo box breakout should be towards the upside and when it does that might be at the beginning of the body part of the fish so you can uh, think about uh, start eating it and that will be another confirmation along with uh, the, the box strategy here all right or oh, buying GJ all right GJ I've been on GJ for two days. Awesome trade. Okay, cool, cool. That's great, that's great. All right, all right. Hi, Anna. Thanks for joining. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah, this is the confirmation, right? This is the confirmation. So, again, again, okay, so we're going over again. So, daily chart, this is moving up, right? This is 
uptrend based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, right? This Kumo itself, the, the angle is moving up, and not only the angle, the length itself is also long, right? It's long uptrend. And also Senko Span B is right now just becoming horizontal here. So we have to wait for, we have to uh, watch out for the retracement right now because this is uh, consolidating. However, overall it's uptrend, so you can look for a buy chance, right? And also thickness is, um, I think it's a little bit thinner here. So because the momentum to the upside is pretty strong and that's why the Kumo is thin here. And also the gap between highs and Kumo are pretty wide, right? Pretty wide. So this is the continuous bullish market and by looking at the lower time frame 4 hour chart also the kumo is moving up and steady it's pretty long here right and in this case the kumo itself is pretty thick very thick and the senko span b is just moving horizontal so this also shows that the market is consolidating right see the candles recent candles are not really moving up or down, right? It's being consolidating, and that's why Senko Span B became flat here. However, the Kumo is moving up long, right? And also, it's got the width right to it. It's pretty wide. The Kumo is pretty thick and wide. And also, the gap between the candles, these highs and Kumo is pretty wide in this case. So this is also the confirmation that the market is steady bull momentum, right? And by saying that, you look at the 30 minute time frame and now you find the Kumo is horizontal, right? The horizontal. And that's because this is consolidating, right? As you saw it in daily and four hour chart, this is the consolidation. The market is horizontal. So you have to watch out for the breakout to either direction, right? Either direction. Uh, by following the major trend, the uptrend might be a chance, but you never know in this case because the market can keep going up and down so it might break towards downside and you have to remember that, right? So in this case, um, where you should buy is going to be, for example, by drawing the line like this, you draw a triangle, for example, and you look for the breakout to the upside, or you draw uh, resistance, the recent resistance here, and the support support like at this price level and whenever the price touches on these lower parts then you place buy or you just wait for um, the confirmation for the price to be breaking this recent high upwards and in that case you look at the Kumo right you look at the Kumo's formation how it's moving the Kumo and if the Senko Span B to be moving up then you might consider about buying it right or when you see the Kumo to be um, moving thicker and thicker and that means the bullish con uh, bullish market is again started after the consolidation so it will be a buy chance right it will be a buy chance but but uh, if you're not still sure whether it's moving up or not in this 30 minute time frame like for example if the price breaks it upwards but it, let's say it comes back right which usually happens it comes all the way back like 50 percent retracement and it's consolidating here, right? And when you see the market like this, then what's, what you, you can do is you either wait for the confirmation for the uptrend, for the next uptrend on this 30 minute time frame, or you go down to the lower time frame, like five minute time frame, and you look at the Kumo formation at that time, and if the Kumo was still moving up, on this five minute chart then you can place buy because the market in short term is uptrend so you can take buy accordingly but right as a result of the price action like breaking uppers keep going down and consolidating here and when you look this part in five minute chart and when you find it like this as of now like uh, when you find the consolidation in 30 minute chart is like this then this is not the trade chance right you cannot buy on this momentum in this five minute chart so again you have to draw a line at that time and you have to look for the breakout and keep following the trend basically in a bigger time frame a four hour and daily and that way um, 
you, your risk is going to be very minimum and also you can extend the profit uh, based on the 4 hour or daily. So basically right now I would look at the 30 minute time frame whether it's it's going to be breaking up or not or when, whether it's going to be retracing to these lines like this part or this part. I will look at the chart and if I was able to place a buy then I will explain that on the next live streaming in 5 hours later. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen in the market. Or maybe it's going to consolidate for a couple of more hours and does not really have a trend. That might be a case for the next 5 minutes. Or it's going to break straight up, upwards. Right? It's going to straight upwards. That might be a case too. So either way, right? Either way, um, when you look at the Kumo's formation, you will know exactly how the market is moving and also whether if uh, the market started the steady bullish momentum or not. So yeah, that's the idea of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo actually. Uh, we are here to basically see the chart as of now and what we can do is just to see the chart now, right? And we cannot see the future chart and that's why what we can do is to look at and analyze the chart for now and expect what might happen, right? If question is very important in Forex, and what if the price breaks it upwards, what's gonna happen next? Right? What if the price breaks it downwards, what's gonna happen next? What if the price keeps consolidating here, what's gonna happen next? Right? We have to create those scenarios uh, beforehand, right? Before you take trades. And that's very important. And that's what actually Ichimoku Sanjin says about it. We are here to know the presence of the market, right? We're not here to expect and predict the future. So Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is actually a pretty good tool to see the presence of the market as of now so that you know what to do next. And that's the most important part in Forex to be able to, um, you know, uh, think logically here, right? To be objective in the market and also to be rational here. So yeah, yeah, this is very important. This is very important. So right now, yeah, in 30 minutes, uh, looks like it's losing its volatility right now. So we'll see what will happen in for the next five hours until my next live streaming for today. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. All right, hope to see you will take an entry on this live. Yeah, sure, sure. So if there is an entry chance while I'm doing the live, then I will. I will take trades, of course, of course, because I'm a trader. <laughs> this is the only job I do, so I will take trade willingly. So it's all right. But just right now, there's no trade chance. I cannot buy at this moment, so I will just wait until the price comes to these uh, lines, the lower lines, and we'll see, we'll see. Okay, okay. So is everybody okay so far? Pretty much clear? So basically I'm only talking about Kumo this month and I decided to only talk about Kumo because this is the most important component in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo and also if you master the Kumo basically you can just you know apply any other indicators for the confirmation because if you master Kumo then you know when the trend is starting and when it's, when it's ending and when you should take trade or not. You will actually capture those information by Kumo's formation. So yeah, this is very uh, powerful tool and also it's visual, so that's why I like it so much. Uh, and as the name suggests, right, you can look at the direction and the momentum of the market at a glance. And that's the beauty about it, Kumo here. So. Yeah, when it's trending like this, especially, right, it's so easy to re to recognize. But uh, the things are going to be more difficult when the market is in the range. And I will tell you how I trade in the range uh, in the future lives. But for now, uh, just think, just look for the trend in the market. 
right? Because that way, basically, you can let the time work for you, and that's how the investor should be. So, yeah, and you can be, you know, sit back and relax and be optimistic, as long as the market keeps extending towards your desired direction. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to master the Kumo first, and that's why I'm exclusively talking about Kumo on my lives. So, yeah, and when you think about it, uh, there's no same market in the past and compared to now, right? No market is the same. So we are plenty of examples how the Kumo is forming right now, and more importantly, how Kumo will be forming in the future is the more important question that you can think of. Um, so that you can expect the ne next uh, market momentum, the possible momentum. So this is very logic and visual. All right, all right. All right, great, thanks. Very clear, yes. Okay, all right, good to hear that, good to hear that. All right. Can you show us how you combine with Bollinger Band with Ichimoku? Sure, sure. Yeah, I will show it to you on the later lives. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, right now again, the 30 minute chart, it's losing its momentum. Let's look at the 5 minute chart, right? And in this 5 minute chart, it's moving up and down. And the Kumo is horizontal. The Kumo is horizontal. And the Kumo shows the market equilibrium on the long term, which is 52 candlestick in the past. So that means if the market has been consolidating for the past 52 candlesticks, then Kumo becomes horizontal, right? And in that case, Kumo shows the equilibrium point uh, on the market range for the past 52 candles and onwards. So in this case, you can basically trade uh, based on the Senko span B here. This is a range trading strategy. When the market is in the range for a long time, you can take this uh, Senko span B as, um, as a midpoint, mid price level of this range, and also Kijun Sen. And yeah, just look at the momentum in the market that way along with these, uh, you know, with these lines. So anyways, yeah, right now it's in the range, so basically we cannot trade in this case. We cannot follow the trend and thus we cannot take trade. Right, right now the price is coming close to the line here, so we'll see if it's going to be supported by the line. All right. <clears throat> Hello, Master K. I quiet uh, market those days. Yep, exactly. Quiet, pretty, pretty much. Good time for learning. Exactly, exactly. You can always learn from the past and to see what might happen next, right? You can also refer to the past and it's good time for learning. Exactly. So, all right, I will be stopping my live session for the first live today. So, yeah, again, like I said in earlier, uh, I have a question form like this for Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, whatever questions you have, please feel free to send me any questions. Sorry, <laughs> please feel free to any questions. Um, you know, you can if you scroll down like this, you put your name, email address if possible, and. You just take a quick survey here and you just write your question here, right? As detailed as possible. Don't be like, say, uh, you know, how to trade with Ichimoku, right? Don't ask me that kind of questions because there are so many ways to answer it, so I cannot be specific. So be specific on your questions and yeah, and also in the end, I have a question like this. Uh, what do you think about my YouTube live sessions? So if you have any comments about my YouTube live sessions, uh, please feel free to add that comment too and click the send so that it can come to my inbox and I will be covering those uh, questions on my live, on my other lives. I will be doing it tomorrow, 
so you can expect that okay so all right again thank you for joining my another live streaming i always um we appreciate it uh whenever you join and it really keeps me going so yeah i will be doing another live in five hours later so i wish you can join but until then you have a great great day and stay gold all right bye for now